this is a very simple lesson on uh, a feature. It's another web-based app called Wordle, wordle.net. So if you check up here, it's not .com, it's .net. So what I'm going to want you to do here is I'm going to want you to summarize each chapter. So from the notes that I give you, I want you to draw from there the key words that you have found in the chapter. I'm going to want you to copy and paste or type them out yourself in, in this kind of a fashion. Now, what you need to understand is the more often you repeat a word, the bigger it's going to be inside of your Wordle. Now, the way that I've typed it out here really doesn't make sense. If you wanted computer several times, you would probably just you go computer, 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 and then you type the next words and next words. Here I've got them kind of spread. i got computer here, i got another one here, i got another one there. So when you do it, they'll probably be right next to one another. So you'll want to just use a space, okay? Th those aren't dots, I just got my show hide here, All right? So the first part of this is type this out in some kind of a word processor, whether it's your Google Docs or your Microsoft Word, doesn't matter. Do not type in Wordle. That's the biggest mistake people make is they type in Wordle. They don't want you to type in Wordle. Uh, there are several reasons for this. The biggest is once you've created a Wordle, if you happen to have a spelling mistake, you have to start all over again, typing everything all over again. You don't want to make that mistake. Make your mistakes inside of a word processor. That way you can come back and change it and quickly and easily create another Wordle. So, and if you want two words stuck together, it's that little character right there, okay? It's somewhere on your keyboard, depending what kind of computer you're using, but that's what you use to stick the words together, all right? So here I have commas, you don't need commas. Just put spaces and you'll be fine. Or if you want to use commas, you can. It doesn't matter. So once you've got your stuff typed in, again, I want you to go through your notes and pick out what you find to be the keywords for that chapter. The more often you repeat the keywords, the bigger they end up being in your Wordle. So you'll select once you've got them typed out. And I'll be giving you marks based on your choice of words, right? If you just picked a bunch of random words and it doesn't make any sense and it doesn't really represent the chapter, you're going to lose marks. So I want your Wordle to be good, like a professional Wordle for that chapter. So you're going to copy that, go back to Wordle, and you'll say, all right, I'm ready to create my own Wordle. And you see how here how they say paste a bunch of text? And that's what that's what they're trying to tell you, don't type in here because you'll regret it, all right? So we're just going to paste that in and then go. And now it's going to create a Wordle. So I had a little prompt saying that Java was out of date, so I just said, yeah, go ahead and, and, and run Java. So you may have to do that on your machine. And here's my Wordle that it gave me. Now, you don't need to stick with this Wordle. It, this one looks great, but if you don't like it, all you, you have tons of choices from here, all right? So you can change the font. Now, when you make a change, you'll notice that it totally, totally changed my Wordle. It didn't just change the font. It changed all kinds of stuff. You can change the layout. So here I'm going to go, uh, I do like mostly horizontal, actually. I just don't like this one. Uh, but if you wanted horizontal, all horizontal, you can do that. I really like that. And then you can change the colors. You can use one of their predetermined color layouts. You can even set up your own if you wanted to. Like, I don't expect you to spend too much time on your Wordles. Uh, most of your time is going to be spent on just finding the key words. And then, and then once you've got them, using that. Um, there may be a way of saving these, but it, I don't uh, print, open in window, save to public gallery, I suppose. But what I've done in the past is I've just had my students do a print screen. I'm hoping you know how to do a print screen. Uh, you have a button somewhere on your keyboard for print screen. Um, some of them you have a lasso type app for your, on your laptop, etc. But here I'm going to my keyboard and I'm finding a print screen. It's a, I got a traditional keyboard, and it's over top the, the number pad. Uh, if you look at the number 8, then, then there's the divide sign, and then there's print screen. So when you hit print screen, you don't actually see anything happen, but it's just taking a picture of your screen. And then you can go into PowerPoint, or you can go into uh, everybody's going to have. In accessories, everybody's got paint. So you should be able to put this right into paint. I don't usually use paint. I usually use PowerPoint. Um, and then you can go paste, all right? The, I guess the reason I don't like this is I don't have, it's kind of tough to crop in this program. So if you've got PowerPoint, I would probably prefer PowerPoint.
But if you don't, if this is all you have access to, then I guess you can use this. Now, the reason I don't like paint so much is cropping is a little bit difficult. Uh, in order to crop this out, you need to scroll down. And now I can crop the bottom and I can crop the right hand side. But I can't crop the top or the left. So what I need to actually do is rotate the image. So I'm going to flip it vertical first. And now I can do the top because it's at the bottom. But if you can put this into PowerPoint, you can easily crop there. And then all you need to do is right click and save as a picture. So I'm going to rotate this vertical now. Uh, no, I need to go horizontal again. There we go. And then I'm going to crop that out. So now I've gotten rid of all the stuff that I don't want. And then when I flip it back, it'll be perfect. And when you're done, I'm just going to want you to go save as. Make sure you know where you're saving it. Save it as a, a JPEG is fine, or even a PNG would be better. And then give it a name, such as uh, chapter one or chapter two, whatever is relevant. And then you'll be able to insert that into your website. You'll be able to hand it in as a, as a JPEG or a PNG. Uh, it'll, it'll be yours. So that's the lesson on how to create uh, a Wordle and how to do a print screen, bring it into Paint. I used Paint because I, I assume all of you have Paint on some kind of computer, but if you've got PowerPoint, the cropping is that much easier.